Lads, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is the finale of the Lava Series. In this video, I'm going to be taking my army of weird, creepy, strange orcs, and we're going to be taking the fight to the Barrel Scraper, who is currently in charge of my fort. This is going to be a mixture of live stream footage and pre-recorded footage that I've voiceovered. I'm going to include some time code chapters so you can skip past the Twitch section if you don't fancy it. It starts out with me wandering around the lava map, looking for cool grunts, looking for cool slaves that could kill me and then become something beautiful. Like, you know, a cocoon turning into a beautiful butterfly, much like Baga. Uh, I reckon we give this guy a chance. Oh, he just killed the other guy. I think we, I think we give this guy a chance here. He just took out that other random orc. All right, what's he gonna become? I've got no chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it feels a dead. Not the best. Not the best dialogue. Could have been better. He's no poet. Oh, he looks cool. <gasps> he's called Baga. Guys, he's called Baga. Another fucking Baga. What do we? What do we think? He's not. He's not weird. He's not weird. I don't know what to do with him. Alright, let's see if we can find Giggles. Go! You're right! Here he is! Well done, everyone! Good job. Good job, team. Team, team, team. I just love saying the word team. Guys, what was that a quote from? I'll give you bonus points if you can tell me what that quote's from. What was the one about team? Alright, let's go find Giggles and let's make him giggle. Well, first of all, let's go and see if he actually is. Yes, IT crowd, look at that. Jas, Jas is his first message and he absolutely nails the quote. Well done, mate. I legit did a... Guys, Giggles is not giggling. I think we need to remedy this. Yeah, sorry Giggles. Let's shame Giggles here. I am disappointed, exactly, I am disappointed didn't giggle. Missed yet. Alright, who the hell is this, the unclean? Nah, he just hasn't wiped his mouth. That's all, he's not, not, not that interested. There he is, there's Giggles. There's our giggly boy. Whoa, what's this? Didn't really do anything. Giggles! Oh! <gasps> He's laughing! It was a real honor. Guys, he laughed. And then you took that away from me. He laughed. Killing you will restore that honor. I've never heard him laugh before. Wait, wait, guys, do I keep shaming him to make him laugh more or do I leave him like this? Because he did laugh a little bit. Oh, he's laughing! Look! You can hear him laughing. No, he is giggling. Maybe we leave him. He is giggling. I'm going to let him kill me. I'm gonna let him kill me to get his levels back. Giggles is laughing now, guys. I thought you were. And while raging is playing, uh, Phasma, I will be. throw a feast in his honor <laughs> and you show up there intentionally oh no I've ruined this feast he was having a feast he was celebrating killing me oh he's monster <laughs> I didn't <laughs> I didn't see your messages oh fuck I almost killed him I wasn't paying attention guys stop making me look at chat He's out there right now. Somewhere. Guys, I almost killed him because I was just like... I was just watching chat. And he's off. He's ran away. He fucking just ran away, little bastard. Alright. Any of you lork orcs look interesting enough to kill me? <laughs> he's pretty weird looking. Look at the hair. Look at that hair choice. I'm not so sure about that. 
His face is horribly skinny. Looks like a witch. All right, let's let's go, lads. Do it. One of you do it. I'm gonna lean towards. What's that? It's got a broom. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do they always have brooms? Guys, hold on. He has a broom. Is this normal? <laughs> Look at this guy. I've never seen them have a broom before. He's the cleaner. Oh no, he put the broom away. Oh, damn it. I thought he was going to hit me with the broom. I thought he was going to hit me with the broom. Damn it. Alright, it's between weird serpent hair and broom boy. I mean, I'm going to let broom boy kill me. I just need the other guy to go on, fucking do it. Hit me. Oh, he keeps hitting me into broom boy. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much, Zeus. Zeus just gifted a sub to Chronic Vibes. Look at that. Chronic Vibes. Make sure you thank Zeus. And uh, get those emojis in the chat. Even your measly scalp will be enough to get me promoted. Oh god, he's weird. Oh Jesus, he's weird. The Brim Brim Boy. What's Brim Boy? Oh god, he's got a funny name. Zafra. Is it Brim Boy's called Zafra? Oh, <gasps> oh, he's the corrupter. He's put down the broom and he's corrupting people now. I quite like him. I reckon he'll be part of the army. Let's go. Uh, let's go recruit the corrupter. Just get him straight in the team, Brim Boy. There he is, Brim Boy. He's hanging out with someone called Iron Mount. Best friends. There we go, there's Frank. Good old Frank on YouTube. Alright, we're gonna kill Iron Mount and we're gonna let we're gonna recruit Brim Boy. But tickling's not enough to get my blood up! <laughs> Let's see what else you can do. Oh god, okay, maybe I like Iron Mount. Maybe he needs to be in the army. He's fucking weird. <laughs> you gonna come back. I'm taking more time killing you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh at the end. God, this guy's weird too. Maybe the Iron, Iron Mind's got a boring name, but he's got a quite an interesting personality. He is fucking kinky pickle, you're right. Talking about Ticklin? <laughs> Doesn't get more kinky than Ticklin. Look at that, a piece of art. There we go, how's this for fucking Ticklin? <laughs> the face of regret. Oh, he's terrified! Alright, we're getting this guy. We're getting the Iron Mind. Oh! Jesus Christ, this is a cluster fucking here. It's too it's too narrow. Also bear in mind I've got my bad armor on still. Alright, it's gonna be no problem. We're getting Brim Boy. Brim you know, we're gonna grab Brim Boy, but he, he's not on the team yet. You know, he hasn't quite proven himself, you know, all he did was carry a broom to be honest. But if he'd killed me with that broom, he would have been absolutely on the army. Look at all these slaves running away. What's going on lads? Where are you going? Who are you running from? Who are you running from? Stop. Stop running. Get down. Stop. If you kill me, you'll be promoted. Do it. Do it. Pick up a pick up a broom. Oh, he just got fucking shot. He just got fucking shot. Oh my god, a spider has just killed him. That's fucked. A poor slave. That poor fucking slave. The army is growing. Let's get the corruptor in there. 
Or broom boy. Oh yeah, an iron mount. Yeah, absolute weirdo. There we go, we're up to four. Oh, thank you very much for the uh, Prime subscription, Shadow Dragon. Thank you so much, mate. Very generous. Cheers. Also, very cool name as well. Fucking Shadow Dragon. Need to get you in the uh, Darkest Dungeon. He's live! Alright, who do we have down here? Got the Oathbreaker. I mean, he looks fucking weird, but he's not. There's my guy. Slave Maker. He's cool. His face is fucked. Okay. Who's this? The Reaper? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. What do you guys think about this Reaper? I quite like the look of him. I may have to have a chat with him just to see what he what his personality is like. Oh yes, he is. Uh, he's getting in the army. Absolutely, he's coming in the army. Not a doubt in my mind. That. The way he did that Aru, yes. He's, he's like a werewolf. Absolutely. Get in my army. See, you just never know. You just never know until you talk to them. You're like, wow. Oh, there's Garl fucking absolutely destroying people. As he does. Need to make sure this guy doesn't get killed here. It's quite a, we're in quite a dangerous environment. Oh. No! Yes. No worry, short summer. Hey anime kid, how's it going? We got him. We got him. Alright, get out here, Reaper. I'm gonna make a great addition to the team. You absolutely beautiful bastard. You missed the gambling? I like that guy. I might recruit him just for a. I might recruit him for a pit fight. We're gambling. No! <laughs> Garl's gonna kill him! Alright, we got this guy. He's gonna fight in the pits. Who's running away? Who are you? Who are you? Ah oh, no, goodbye. That's true, you'd be crazy to vote against me on this, you know, with the random guys for it. It's not like I'm fighting you guys and you got with, with your like elite forts. This is a random. We've got the neck snapper, his neck is fucked. Cool. Who's this? The fanatical. I can't grab this last one. There we go. The bloodhound. I mean, he's pretty cool looking. Could grab him for a pit fight. Do I grab him for a pit fight? Hmm. Yeah, why not? You now serve me. I will see your commands through. Who do we have here? We got the protector, the savage. Oh, I like his mask. He's cool. We're gonna get him. And um, we got a gluttonous. Looks like. Oh, this guy's cool. Look at his mask. It's like Rey Mysterio. Thank you, Connor. I appreciate. I appreciate your support. Oh, Jesus, I'm in for.
Wait, what? I didn't realize I was down. I need to start, need to start paying attention here. There goes the fanatical, just kind of belly flop, just collapsed. That's going to be our game plan for getting in there. Break this gate down. He's a fire grog, he doesn't care about the fire. Look at that. Straight through. Let's see who we have here. Look at the Warborn. Horned Lord and the Defiler. But the Defiler's a bit fucking creepy. Who's this? Ah, get out of here, mate. Get out of here. Look at all these people ready to be shamed. Here we go. Goodbye, Defiler. More than I'm trying, alright? I'm trying to like multitask here. I'm trying to also grab this luchador lad. There he is. But Garl really wants to kill him. Oh, fucking hell, it's me killing him now. Oh no, he's so cool. He's saying bollocks. Nah, I'm not killing him. Is he gonna have full health again? Ah, oh, he is, yeah, he's got full health again. Fuck's sake, I might die here. I think it's over. Oh, it's not. Thank God for normal difficulty in online raids. Guys, I think I'm dead. <laughs> yep, the Horned Lord killed me. I think you've all lost your money. No, guys, you lost your money. Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone here we want to grab. You know, there's a bruise. All right, let me take you through the team that I've built up so far for this uh, for this YouTube video for this series. You know, we're getting the weirdest orcs imaginable. We're getting the outcasts. All right, let's see. Let's see. Obviously, we've got the main man here, the Pickle. You know, he's not called the Pickle, but we've named him the Pickle. Lovingly, lovingly named him the Pickle. Who else do we have here in our team? Over here, we've got Giggles. Giggles, he actually does giggle. Lovely, lovely little addition there. Who else do we have here? We've got, obviously, we've got the Mindless. You know, an absolute, an absolute weirdo. Like, you can't not have this. I mean, he's a bit of a freak. But... He's lovable, you know? Like, he doesn't really know what he's doing. Which I love. Again, him and I. But if you find someone better, we can replace his ass. Because he doesn't look the most interesting. Uh, we've got this lad here. We've got the Reaper. This is just your average CEX employee that we've got here. You know, we've all, we've all, we've all, known, we've all known lovely ladies like this. And they're the best, honestly. So we've got them in the army. Got him in the army. The Reaper. We've got one spot left. And also, we can replace these two bottom ones here. We can replace the Corruptor and the Reaper. I'm not, I'm not that sold on them, to be honest. So we can replace them with other ones. Orcs. It's kind of like a shopping spree, but we're only looking for weird orcs. Let's see who he's got. Ah, uh, lucky shot. Ah, uh, basic. Stabbed immediately. Also, well, he's only got one guy per area, like, that's not the best, is it? Also, guys, I've been editing the, uh, the Baga video. So far, it's over an hour long. Uh, Charlie, probably about two hours. That's how long the stream will last. It'll be two hours unless I fancy jumping over to do Darkest Dungeon, in which case I'll do two hours of this and then maybe some Darkest Dungeon. 
because I've been leveling, I've been leveling you guys up outside of the stream because I want us to get in there and just kill all the bosses. Let's get rid of this guy. He's nothing. This is what I get. But not listen. Yes, Sammy. So I'm thinking that's gonna be part one's gonna be an hour long, and then part one's basically Bagus origin. Part two is gonna be Bagus like basically part two is gonna be the Bagger verse. And then I'm not sure what part three hasn't been done yet. Part three hasn't been written. Part three hasn't happened yet. So that'll be whatever whatever is next for Baga, you know. Cream right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Get your emojis in the chat. This so far this fort doesn't really have any defenses to be honest. Like my guys are just swarming here. There we go, what's he gonna say? I'm going to grind up your corpse and make a cream from it. <laughs> uh, You'll never me. defeat Bagger I'm Bug. Just gonna <laughs> it all no one can. Fight. Not even himself when he tried to. Thank you jump very much for the subscription, uh Colter <laughs> <his one> Rico. <laughs> Thank you so much, man, I really appreciate that. That was some pretty good dialogue from that work. I quite like that. What do you guys think of that dialogue he just said there? Talking about smooshing my face and making a cream out of it. What do you guys think of that? I quite like it. I think it was quite, I think it was quite, you know, quite creative, quite quirky. Maybe he could be exactly what we're looking for in this team. Another pickle. Yo, coolest guy, how you doing, mate? Coolest guy, I've been leveling up your darkest dungeon character. I think you're level five now, actually. You're good to go on the hardest missions now against the, the worst bosses. <laughs> everyone likes him, everyone... Oh, God, maybe the team... Maybe we should sack off the weird team and just make a pickle team. I think that's the way this stream's going. Just on the on the hunt for pickles. Oh, God, that's a good... That's, oof, that's a good YouTube title. On the hunt for the rare middle earth pickle. God, no one steal that. That's my YouTube title right there. No one take that. All right, I'm watching. What? I'm watching all of you. Don't take it. Copyright of it. I've already put it free. My lawyer is in this chat. He's already patented. Patented. Can't even speak tonight. That idea. All right, pickle. Get out of here. I'll see you in the. I'll see you in the garrison, pickle. Goodbye, cannibal. Grom the champion. Also very common. Yeah. Yes, Grease Monkey Man, I would love to know why you're called that. Please tell me. Do you grease yourself up before you Welcome make love? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, High Lord. High Lord 69. Oh, it's a bruise. Boring. Well, Death Rider, you just gotta be a sub and I'll add you on Xbox and you can get all the baggers, all the baggers you want. Yo, Kara Blackbuck, how you doing? Good to see you. You raided my fort, Prime. Did you did, did you take it? Oh, I thought this was gonna be an easy front room, but it's all br it's all bruise. It's all bruise, and I've got no I've got no bodyguard. Hmm. All right, I may have to try a little bit here. But he's our proof, isn't he? Yep. Goodbye, Bruise. Goodbye, this front room. After shaming Bruise, I'm gonna take the rest of the story off of Twitch, so the rest is gonna be pre-recorded audio. After I defeated that front room of Bruises, I decided to go and check which orcs I could bring into the army, which ones I'd taken from the fortress, and which ones would be a good fit. I deployed Booble for diseased, or to give him his real name, Little Pickle. Before we take on the barrel scraper, I decided to test out the army online against a random fort. <laughs> Catapults are taken care of, let's get down there and see who we're dealing with. Ooh, we've got the ruined. Very cool. Well. 
Oh yeah, he's good. He's good. He might be in the army, you know? The runes. Great personality. He looks crazy. He looks like a weirdo. You know, he looks like a freak. He could be perfect for the army. Okay, I've taken the first point thanks to the help of Little Pickle. Let's move on to the second one. Let's get that meat down there. Oh, the Guardian of Mordor is weak. Let's get him. You know, I'm going to recruit him because I'd like to put him into a pit fight tournament in the future. You know, he looks cool. He's quite striking. I spot an orc running and I'm like, I have to see who that is. That could be anyone. That could be the ruins. I have to get after him. I can't let them escape. It could be someone I need in my weird orc army. It could be anyone. Who is it? Oh. Oh, it's the ruins. Thank God I caught him. He was trying to escape that little bastard. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go, he's retreated, he'll be safe. Just gonna ride my grog over here. Let's go take the second point and oh! The rock crusher has been killed by the Guardian of Mordor. You feel properly like King Kong when you're jumping around here with this grog. Like, look at this. It feels so powerful. Two of my guys are down here. But I've got a huge army. Let's get some fire going. Let's see if it annoys any of them at all. Alright, let's jump off. Let's take the fight to this lad here, to this bloody Phantom of the Opera orc. So now you kill me. It wasn't enough just to pollute my body with your filthy elf devilry. Oh, cleaved in too. Love that. Oh, his body goes flying there. That was absolutely brutal. There's explosions going off. I can't save him. Oh, Grook Giggles has died. One of my giggles. Luckily, I've got loads of giggles. Oh, I just blink through the corrupt and he is gone. He's dead. Let's get the rest of my boys up here and let's take this point. Let's move on to the third point. There we go. Let's just see who we have over here. Oh. Oh no, I missed him. I killed my own guy. <laughs> oh. You poke your head out of your crypt, but I'll put you back in for good. All right, let's try and take this guy out before we get to the next point. Just absolutely peppering him here with the arrows. He should be good enough. There we go. And yeah, let's recruit him. You know, if anything, he could be in the pits. You know, I can't say no to a lad. He's got a bag on his head. I'm over here at the next point. I can see some of my lads are down here. There's a few people need shaming. Need shaming or recruiting. Let's grab this guy here. Who is he? Who are you, lad? Who are you? Oh, Thunderhead. Thunderhead. Uh, yeah, let's recruit him. He I'm going to recruit him and we're going to send him to the pits. Just fighting this slave lad here. Oh, Poog the slave. Very cinematic kill on him there. Unfortunate Poog the slave. I see someone who needs a good shaman. Who is this? Mate, are you interested? Are you weird? The lost? No, nah, mate. You don't look good. Sorry, mate. You're getting shamed. take this point here nice one step closer so far the team's going pretty well like Jesus this fear lord has mad eyes my god and he's enraged he's been attacked by a spider let's just dominate this guy real quick who do we have here who do we have the man breaker oh scary get shamed man breaker We're over at the final point, my lads are owning, although there is like three of them here, and actually one of my guys is down now. There we go, the unkillable has taken over, he's destroyed the eye gouger as he just goes sliding past me there. I'm gonna teleport in here, someone needs a good shaman, 
Who do we have here? Oh, I recognize him. It's the Fear Lord. Let's recruit him. Let's get him in the pits. I'm fighting some random orc here. He looks quite interesting. Looks like a ghoul boy. He's got the ghoul horns. Yep, he's a ghoul lover. You don't stand a chance. We'll all have a fine time dining on your corpse after you're dead. And he's soft-headed, so he's quickly taken care of. Let's also recruit him, you know, let's get him into the pits, you know, he's got a pretty unique look here. Let's run over here, let's quickly take this final point here. And uh, looks like there's just one guy left to dominate, to shame. Oh, he's running, he's running. But there's no escape, mate. No escape here. Who are you? Oh, the pit fighter? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Might as well have a pit fighter in the pits. Why not? You've got Bruce's shoulder pad as well. Alright, mate. You survived for now. We've got another orc over here who surrendered. Let's see who he is. Oh, he looks familiar. <gasps> I think I know him. Oh, it's the abused. It's the classic abused. He's great. He's one of my originals. Alright, we're in the throne room. If I remember right, the overlord looked very, very rare. Oh, yes. Look at him. He looks badass. He looks so cool. Let's take a look. Who are the bodyguards? Oh, we have a diseased bodyguard. A blight bodyguard. Very cool. Dead son. You know, before raiding this fort, I had never ever seen a dead son orc before. So, you know, I need to have this guy. I need to have him. In my mind, he's rare. I mean, look at him. Look at that armor he's got on. I think he looks badass. And he's called Dead Son. Very cool. And you can see, like, he is dressed with the helmet of the of the lads that are usually called Torch. And it's usually on fire, but his is out. Which, you know, obviously means, like, Dead Son. Very cool. Very cool. Let's get him. Let's get him weakened. Let's get him in the army. I've summoned in my top bodyguard pickle to even the odds. Oh, I can see he's terrified of the undead. Well, we can arrange that over here, can't we? Just a few more arrow shots. There we go, and we're ready to raise the undead. And he's terrified. There we go. <laughs> Easy. Let's recruit him. You know, I basically recruit all of these weird ones, all of these, like, poisoned ones. I think they're super cool looking. Back to the dead son who's enraged and he's just angrily chasing me around the room while I try and figure out if he is our proof or not because it seems to work sometimes and other times it doesn't. When he's enraged, he gets shot and he just seems to shrug it off. Big hit from the pickle there, and he's ready to be taken. He's ready. I need to just dodge away here. There we go. Easy, lads. Easy throne room. So far, you know, I think I think that army has been successful. I think that army is ready to take on the real deal. Is ready to take on the barrel scraper. Let's just get this dead son into the uh, into the garrison. I think he looks badass, and I do think he's rare. You know, I'll probably get some comments going on. Oh, he's not rare. You don't know what a rare orc is. Shut up, mate. I've never seen him before. Therefore, he's rare to me. After that fort raid, I was informed by a member of my army that my giggles had gotten mad at Ur Grand McGiggles and had hunted him down to kill him because he wasn't laughing enough. Whatever I 
else happens in this war, this archway is not falling to the enemy. You can bet on that. Naturally, I followed my giggles because I didn't want him to get killed by the much larger giggles. I had gone there originally just to be peaceful to see what would happen to make sure nobody would get hurt. And then I one shot giggles in the head. Oops, I really need to stop doing that. I didn't realize how powerful I was and just how weak that giggles was. Moving on swiftly, I decided to track down the poet. The poet was a random grunt that I let kill me. He then discovered he could rhyme and became the poet. And I'm currently tracking him down. I'm stealth killing some of his orcs to lure him out. Here he is now. My burning is the lord of rhyme to slay my critics one at a time. Basically, I'm luring him out because I need to give my bodyguard the pickle some practice. Right when I go to summon in my bodyguard, the pickle, this guy shows up. Did you call for your bodyguards? Haven't seen them, but I'm here. You know, I didn't panic, I just simply called in the pickle. If anything, this can be two guys he can kill. I'm training the pickle because he's going to be the leader of this freakish, weird orc army that I've created. Look at that, the Pickle's going in with a big swing. He's wrecked him, he's weak. Go on, Pickle, finish him off now. Go on, lad, he's on the floor. Oh, he's doing it, the Pickle. He's executing him. He's killed the wrestler who took his place whenever I summoned him in. Well done, Mr. Pickle. Now all that's left is for the Pickle to kill the poet. Oh, he's picked him up. Oh, he's smashed him across the field. Look at that one execution he's just done there. Well done, Mr. Pickle. You're now ready to lead your forces. I decided to deploy Scoff the Ruined into the army because I think we can all agree he was pretty weird and I think, you know, he's got the look. He's got the personality. Yeah, I think he'll make a good member of the weird, weird orc team that we have here. I decided that whenever I fight the Barrel Scraper in the throne room, I need one of the weirdest, most deranged orcs that I've ever met by my side, and that is the Abused. So I signed him up for the pit fight to make him the Barrel Scraper's bodyguard, and then I just sat back and enjoyed the show. Let's teach you a lesson, shall we? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and just like that, my spy was in the front room. I then found out that Giggles had become jealous of this pit fight and decided to host his own pit fight. I watched from the sidelines anxiously. Uh, you're a little on the dull side, but you'll do. But I shouldn't have been worried. 
Giggles picked up the Thunderer and smashed him to the floor, thus making himself a bodyguard for one of the Warchiefs. Here we go lads, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. We are taking this fort back. The freaks, the weird orcs, they're in charge of this fort and I've made my own army of weird, weird, weak orcs and we're going to take this back. The Barrel Scraper has no idea what's coming for him. We've got the pickle at the front leading the way, the captain, we've got the mindless as number two. We've got scoff the ruined, beautiful, we've got the corruptor, we've got the reaper, and we've got the diseased, you know, two pickle boys there, let's go. I'm actually really excited what the mindless is going to say and what Mr. Mr. King Pickle is going to say himself. Not so good from the pickle to be honest, you know, he's just like, let's just get on with it seriously, like I want this fort. But look at him there in all of his glory, look at that beautiful pickle body, my god. And also the mindless, you know, I mean he is called the mindless, he's just doing his own thing there. The battle scraper actually had a very good speech, you know, I'm very happy with that speech he's done. You know, 10 out of 10 from the barrel scraper there. Okay, I've taken out the catapults here. There we go, it's destroyed. Oh, there's a hero up here. He's hitting me. My god. What an absolute hero that orc was trying to be. Alright, let's, let's dominate this Karagor here. Let's see who's the first line of defense. I think it's the betrayed. Yep. That looks like the betrayed. What's he going to say here? When we part ways, I told myself it wasn't personal. But it was. This entire fortress is proof of just how much I grew to loathe you. Now what? As my loathing turns to wrath. Oh, he's become the betrayed. Oh. <laughs> also very good speech, you know. He's grown to loathe me. Oh, poor orc. Poor orc. You know, we're going to have to get rid of this lad here. He's the first line of defense. He's going to get flattened. And it's just him. Alright, he's weak enough now. Let's see if we can make him loathe me even more. He's getting the shame. That's the first point taken, we're absolutely smashing through this fort, you know, my lads are savage, they're savage, weird outcasts. And I can already see it, the second point, Bruise is weak, I need to get in there before he dies. Hello Bruise. Look at that, Bruise with the bag on his head, you're also getting shamed mate. 
Goodbye. Here we go, it's time. Second point has been taken. We're smashing through the fort. No one's getting in our way. Let's move on. Let's go find the next uh, weird, freakish war chief that's standing in our way here. Oh! Oh, he's been betrayed! He's been betrayed by the rock crusher! Look at that, the Orlog that has the brain injury, he's infiltrated, he's betrayed him. Look at that, he's absolutely broken. I'm trying to jump in there, but my lads are getting in the way. Can I get in there and shame him in time? Oh, I can, look at that. Sniped him, because that's the lookout orc. And he is one of my massive favorites. He had one of the best intros ever. There's the third point taken. Here we go, let's move on. Let's move on to the fourth point. Let's see who's protecting that. Which orc from my past, which orc creation is guarding it. Oh, it's the brave. It's the brave. Ironically named the brave. He was the random grunt that came in after another orc that was going to kill me humiliated me instead. He just came in, hit me once, got the clean kill, got the victory, and was named the Brave. Oh, here comes the Gutless, the monster that I created. But he's being followed by one of my giggles, one of my giggly spies. Here comes the bruise that's all deformed, the messed up bruise. But he's got another spy in his midst, another giggles. The giggles are all over this fortress. And before I can even make it over there, it seems like a fiery explosion has taken out the gutless. Giggles has done such a good job, I couldn't even get there in time to see him. He just goes up in an absolute ball of flames. Giggles is victorious. And just as I'm taking over the catapult, Bruise the Chopper has been killed across the map. Look at that, both the Giggles, both of my giggly spies have killed their War Chief Masters. This fort has fallen so far. All that's left now is to finish off the serpent, march into the throne room, and kill the barrel scraper. Oh, the spear gets me, but my shot still gets off and dooms the serpent. Goodbye, Mr. Serpent. The final war chief is now gone. You can see my army of freakish, weird orcs celebrating. There's the mind that's having a great time, the corruptor. Look at that, everyone's having a lovely time here. There's Giggles, very good spy. Let's get into this throne room and see what the barrel scraper is saying. He has not seen me for a very long time. He has not seen me since his initial rise. Since then, it's been years, years of me building up this weird army. I still have chunks of your guts in my teeth from our last encounter. And now here you are trying to sack my fortress! I hope he's enjoyed his time living in luxury, getting grapes fed to him because it's all about to come crumbling down. Thanks to my spy, the abused. Wow, he instantly breaks. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna record some good audio here, but no, the barrel scraper has instantly broken. Terrified of being betrayed. I was gonna kill him, but I'm not. I'm just gonna shame him now. Goodbye, Mr. Barrel Scraper. Although he actually was called the abused in the end. He was taken out by a fellow abused. My god. Pathetic. This fortress is back in the hands of its rightful owner. No matter how many steps the Lord of Mortal takes forward, we will always drive him back. Finally, the Lava Fortress was conquered and the region was set into a new era of peace. But I had to pick an overlord to reside over this new land to keep the peace and I could think of only one man for the job, the Pickle. After that I assigned the Mindless as one of the higher war chiefs. I assigned Garl the Carver as one of the Pickle's bodyguards, because he's an absolute savage. I made Scoff the Ruined one of the other High War Chiefs. I chose the CEX worker, I mean the Reaper, to be a War Chief. And the other War Chief position went to the Diseased or also known as Little Pickle. The rest of the orcs from this series got assigned as bodyguards in that fort. Please guys, go check out the fort, go raid it, you know, feel free to post a video tagging me in it of your raid. And thanks so much for watching the series, it's been, it's been really fun. Um, I'm gonna do more, definitely doing more series like this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, where would you like me to go, what would you like me to do, any ideas would be appreciated. I do read the comments and I do take the comments into consideration when I'm starting a new series. But yeah, cheers guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Subscribe for more of that delicious Shadow of War content. Come on, it's probably free to do. And if it isn't, maybe it's worth the money. I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet. But you can trust me. I'm an anonymous voiceover. Those are very...